I have developed a streamlit application for chatting with multiple LLMs. In this application, you can select any LLM model and start chatting. For example, in this, I have selected Microsoft P3. Let's start putting our question. Okay, so, so and this application is now streaming enable. You don't need to wait for the response completion. So as soon as it's getting a response, it'll start displaying. While it's doing, I can go ahead and select. And also it gives you the response type. Now I'll go ahead and select next model and has to move the same question or different question. So it is uh, session enabled. You will be, be able to keep track of your previous questions. Before we get started, I'm regularly publishing videos on artificial intelligence, Python, Java, and Node.js, and other technical and informative videos on TechNuggets. Please subscribe it, share it, and like it. Let's get started. Okay, what are the requirements? One of the prerequests is you should have a Volama installed on your local system, and it should be running. Uh, if you don't know the Olama thing, then you can go to the site and download. It's an easy process to do that. And if you are still unaware, not clear, and I've made another video about it, and go ahead and do it. Once you have that, then go on. Then you have a streamlet, uh, then Llama index, Llama index LLMs, Olama. These are the pip requirements. Let me do the code walkthrough, starting with imports, uh, streamlit, which is required for UI component. Then we have a, a llama index core LLMs for chat messages, then logging, we have a time, then Olama, this is for integrations, Olama integration. And then we have request and JSON. And also we set a log level for dev environment as a info so that you can see all the messages. Then we see the um, session level, st.session state, we are clear it and we are preparing for chat history. Now let us see some of the important functions. That is, uh, one is the uh, get models. So this model is going to retain a list of models which is deployed on Olama. Uh, the URL uh, localhost 11434. As you know, the pre-request is Olama should be installed and up and running. While by default, it's running on this port. 11434 and this particular UR API request URL will return the list of models. It is equivalent of giving a command of Olama list. You see the names, these are the names it's going to return in the JSON format. That's what you get. You convert as a UTF 8 and finally you convert that as a JSON, finally return as a list of models. Next function, what we have is a prepare chat. Uh, it is going to take your take the model and message as the input and is going to prepare uh, the model with the Volama. For example, here it's going to instantiate Volama model with the provided model and timeout, and it'll it'll create as a LLM object. And very importantly, the LLM will start with the stream chat so that you don't have to wait for the response completion. So as soon as it gives a response, you will it will start displaying it. So how it's doing? It's doing st.mt with the response placeholder. As a token arrives, it's appending to this placeholder and writing as a response and logging this as an info and returning the response. Finally, we have a main function which is going to display the UI element. Starting with the title, this uh, syntax is for rainbow color and uh, logging the info as starting is app starter. Then we are going to do the model selection by calling get models as in select box. And you log that uh, selected model. Then we have a subheader. In the subheader, you display the more selected model. Then we have a prompt. In the prompt, we call st.chat input and the prompt. In this prompt, whatever we enter, we are going to append this on the st.session state the messages with the role user and the content as a prompt whatever prompt user enters and logging the same and we are displaying the same message 
or to whatever the user entered then we are trying to get the response how are we getting this in the list of message while iterating we are checking the role if not assistant so there are two roles one is the user that's the user who's entering the prompt assistant is the llm who's responding if the last message is not from the assistant that means you are not responded you are not received the response we are going to generate the response by calling repair chat so for that and while meanwhile we are doing a start time so that we will get the response time calculation so in order to do the prepare chart what you do is you collect the messages from by role and the messages from the session so and finally you put a model and messages whatever selected model and the messages you get the response message and finally you calculate the duration as a response time how long it took and you format that message and append it to the session card state and the same thing you write it into st dot write and finally you are logging the same and you are surrounding this to with try and catch then we call the main method and display the ui component so how are we running uh, first thing i'm using windows so i created a virtual environment lava 3 stimulate chat client and uh, i created a src folder inside uh, the virtual environment i i activated that's how you see the bracket i will go ahead and do the pip install of all the requirements then run this command lava 3 chat stimulate run your python and python program name perfect you should be able to see the output now awesome okay and also you will see a lot of debug messages because your debug level is info for dev so that you can see what is going on with the environment okay you can see finally what's going on okay let's do the testing um you go ahead and select the model the way you want which one for example p3 microsoft p3 and you can post your question and you should be able to see the response and while seeing what well, the same thing you will be able to see in the background because you are post and uh, the debug level info okay let's go back and you should be able to see the response and it took 26 seconds now let's select another model uh the selection if you see these are the models i have it in my system or uh, install uh, lama 3 code gem let's select lama 3 and let's post the same question and enter so since it is a uh, session enabled it's trying to append with the same session with the duration it's going to generate the response it generated the response it, uh, it took fairly a long time to generate and you can see this it's it's perfect awesome it's a basic one uh, and it's quite useful uh, for example what is the area of improvement of this um, when you select a new model you should be able to create a new session per model and the other thing other possibility what we can do is we can save this message as you can persist locally and you can load it back as a chat history so uh, the, there are a lot more possibility you can develop with this okay feel free to explore and expand this code and that's all i want to share it with you today thank you very much see you next time